Okay, I'm going to show you how the new software allows you to create a base calibration for your specific application from scratch. So the first thing you want to do is open up the software, select Extract XCal, select the ECU you're using, I'm just going to select the 112 here. Then you want to go and pick the firmware that you need, which is also listed under the help file under engine configuration. It gives you a list or you can email tech at proafi.com if you don't know which one you need. I'm just going to select the Corvette one here. This right here is a blank file, has no data in it. Then you're going to select the name. So I'm just going to overwrite this one, save that as my blank file. Once it's done, click OK, the software closes. You're going to open the software, open that file that you just made offline. It's going to be this one right here. Once it opens, you can see that there's no data in there. It's all blank. So there's a new tab up here called Initial Calibration Setup. Hit the drop down menu, Calibration Setup, and it's going to open all of the setting parameters that you can pre-configure. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go down each one of these and select what you're using for that specific function. So I'm going to select Pro-A5 5 bar, 150 PSI. What I typically do is select something for every one of those functions even if I'm not using it. So for example, on secondary fuel, I'll go and select that. Oh, pressure may not have one connected, but I'm going to configure it anyway so that when I wire it up, it's already done. I'm just going to go down and select each one of these. Again, if you're not using it, it doesn't really matter. You can pre-configure it. Okay, for uh, the temperature sensors, you need to know which type you're using. So on the 112s, they come in on a 1K pull-up. So you're going to want to select that. On the 128s, it's a 2K2. So I'm just going to go straight down the list. And since these are all GM, they're all 1K pull-ups on the 112. Again, even though I'm not using those, just go ahead and pre-configure it. Fuel level. O2 sensors, what that one's using on the 112, it uses the, the can, and then we're going to use a two channel wideband on this, so I'm going to set that up that way. Then, if you're using knock sensors, you can configure that there. Encoder patterns, you're going to go select the vehicle here, it's a 58X LS3 newer. Your injector sizing, FID, ID, whatever ones you're using in here, I'll just select these. Electronic throttle, GM LS3. And then you'd select the, you run auto throttle calibration, and that will walk you through setting that up. So I'll show you how that works here. Acting the auto run throttle calibration button, it's going to open this window. So you leave your pedal at rest, hit next. Then you're going to push the pedal all the way to the floor, hit next again. Let off the accelerator pedal, hit next. Then it will run the blade calibration. And when finished, a second, we are going to use stepper motor IC because we're using electronic throttle. So we're going to leave that alone. 112, we're going to select which vehicle we're using. So we're going to do 2010 to 2015 Corvette. So I'm going to select that. Then where they have an automatic, so 6L80, 4L80, whatever you have in there, it'll configure all those files for you automatically. We're going to do a manual transmission on this one. So I'm going to select that. Then we're going to go to page two. Now we can select the pre-configured calibrations for this setup. So on a drop-down list here, we've got stock LSA supercharged map-based, tw uh, twin turbo map-based, uh, 2650 uh, blower. So I'm just going to select the twin turbo map. And then for my timing tables, I've already got those up pre-configured. So I'm going to go with the GM LS low octane and then a high octane for turbo. Then target air fuels, again, I'm going to select the turbo ones. For Excel fuel, turbo. Cranking calibration, LS turbo. Stage injection, if you're using it, select it here, otherwise not used, turns all that stuff off. But if you are using stage injection, it's pre-configured. There's a pre-configured one for 50-50, which is the same size primary and secondary injectors. For auto-tune, if you have two O2 sensors, you have to select it here or a single O2 sensor. So we're going to select that. Idle control, again, GM LS3. Boost control. External wastegate. 
which I boost, the Gen 1 or Gen 2, I'm going to select B1 here. There is no variable cam, so it says not available. Differential traction control. So we selected manual transmission, so I'm going to select that. These are all pre-calibrated, fully dialed in traction controls, and I find they work probably 90 to 95 percent efficiently exactly how they come from us. There's It's differential wheel speed based, so it's dialed in pretty good. Coils, LS3, LS7, and that's it. So right now we've got all that stuff set up. These calibrations are dialed in. They're going to get you very, very close. If anything is significantly off in these, obviously engines are going to vary, so you're going to want to check the timing numbers that make sense for the compression and fuel that you're running. Your V map might need to be adjusted, but if you're having to make big changes to this, check and make sure that your setup is working correctly. And make sure your sensors are set up correctly, your injectors are set up correctly, and things of that nature. The other cool thing about this new version of the software is you can save whatever maps you want from any calibration and create your own drop down list. Okay, so right now if I go in here and see, this is what that map looks like. But if I select a different map, I also have these same functions that are in this calibration setup in each individual tab as well. So I could quickly go in and say, oh, yeah, this, tab, this map isn't really working for my setup and I selected a turbo maybe I've got you know a different like a blower on it so we'll select that one this one's more designed for blower so you change the data right there for you so that has the map changes already dropped right in for you but if you want to use that map and let's just say it's a head cam package that you want to use you can save this map you select maps we're going to go down to VE we're going to give it a name and just put uh, stage head cam LS, whatever, right? doesn't really matter. So you save that model, you know this pops up here. So now you've got these added to the bottom of the regular list. So those will become available to you whenever you want. So you can literally open any calibration you want and drop that VE map right in there at the click of a button. You can do that with ignition timing, boost control, any of the other pre-configured setups. You can do the same thing here. So you can create your own library of stuff that you can drop in and mix and match with any calibration you want. This works a lot more efficiently than the old uh, partial calibration setup, plus it's not firmware specific. It's just data that goes in there, so it's much, much more complete and easy to use. So that's basically about it. Okay, now we've created our new base file, so now I have to create a new ECU file to flash into the ECU to get all this data into the computer. So from here, I'm going to save this file, call it base test, I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite that one. Okay, when it's done, we're going to close the software. And I'm going to open it again and select create ECU file. Select the 112, go down here, grab our file, our base file that we wanted to use. It tells you right up here that you need to select a .pro 112 file. So we're going to go in here, we're going to select that file that we started with, hit open, select X called Emerge into Pro AFI file. So this is the base test that we just made, so I'm going to select that one. Then I'm going to select a new name for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite this file. This is my test file. So this is going to be the file that we're going to flash into the issue once it's done. Once it finishes, we're going to open the software. We'd be connected to the vehicle and ready to flash in. So we're just going to select Flash 112, select this file, hit Open, and it's going to look for the issue, which I'm not connected to one. I'm just doing this offline right now. But it would flash in. You let it complete, cycle the key, and you're done. Okay, another new feature of the new ProiFi software is when you select the file for the 128s, it's automatically going to check to see if you have any conflicts in inputs and outputs. So you're going to see I've opened with a blank calibration that has nothing set. So it's giving all these conflicts right here. If you open the software, all these things are double reassigned. It's not going to work that way. As you know, if you double assign an output, then it, it, the system doesn't know what to do. So we've got these uh, little automatic library blocks based on what your setup is. So you select whatever vehicle you've got. And you'll notice it goes through and changes all the calibrations right there for you. 
sets the outputs. Now if you have anything different from the default wiring, you'd go in and change that now and then save this file. But this will automatically detect anytime you have an I.O. Co conflict in here so you don't run into problems down the road.